as Bates Diop goes the lane, tried to get it to Collins, but it's stolen by Markin, and he's gonna push the pace. Up the floor, going coast to coast, and he packs it. Larry Markin turning on the Jets, throwing down the hammer with the right hand. Made several stops along the way. As there's a shot in on that, oh, and what a spectacular goal by Sarver. Falling down, knocks it out of the air, and he's got the brace. Wow, what a play. 1-0 home to Jared Brown, and he turns on one out to left field and deep. This ball's got a chance, and it's gone. Jared Brown conquers the monster again, and he puts the high times on the board. 1-0 in the fourth. Nice ball movement as they get it over to Moore McNeil. Now down in the post, Moore McNeil on the feed, and the bucket, and the foul. Chloe Moore McNeil, tough finish in the paint. Well, I'm here with last night's hero for the High Times, Brandon Stallman. Brandon, congrats on the win, and you had the biggest play in the game. Your two-run single in the eighth, it was a go-ahead. Um, take me through that at bat. It's a 2-2 count. What did you do? What was your approach at the plate uh, that allowed you to single back up the middle? and score the go-ahead runs. Hi everyone, I'm Will Trumpshaw, along with my partner Evan Kamiko. And well, Evan, the Hoosiers are coming off a grueling stretch to start the season in non-conference foes. They face some of the top teams in the country, including the reigning national champions. And they came out of it all right, but now, and they've even opened up big time play with a 70-40 win over Penn State. But now they go back into some non-conference play, taking on Fairfield all the way into town from Connecticut. What can we expect tonight? All right, DJ, so you guys got the first win of 2022 last night. It was a 7-1 win in an exhibition over at Greensboro. Tonight, it counts. You're taking on Wilmington. How has the approach changed for you guys now that the regular season is starting? Good evening and welcome from Jerry Yagley Field in Bloomington, Indiana. It's the home finale for the Indiana Hoosiers in the regular season as they take on the Rams of Virginia Commonwealth University. Hi, everyone. Will Trubshaw here along with my partner Jack Edwards. Joining us in a second on the sideline is Griffin Gonzalez. And Jack, in this one, it's a really late season non-conference matchup. Uh, but there's actually a lot riding on this for both teams. Richardson skies one in the left center field. Going back on it, still going back at the wall. It's oh. gone! The edge of the grass. Ground ball. Diving stop, Johnson flips on the second for one, on the first, they got him, what a double play. It has been locked down defense and there's another steal. This time it's Padberg, she brings it the other way. She'll slow it down, now trying to spin to the basket. But a good recovery by the Stags. Dumped into the post, Holmes going to work. She's double teamed, kick back out to Padberg. Now Golbe open for three, bang! Three, two again, swing the drive, deep left field. Going back, gone! Eli Wiesner on a full count, turns on one, and with one pitch gives the High Toms the lead. McDonald not in the starting line tonight as we have a chance in on goal already. Creighton with a shot, and they score! Oh, lightning quick strike for the Blue Jays. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, he gets him. A one, two, three inning for Ty Bothwell and blew it by him with the high heat. Hoping to invigorate his offense. And on that end, it's tipped up. Oh, and what a spectacular save by Cruz. He got a palm on it and sent it over top of the net. That was incredible. That was almost for sure a goal for Indiana were it not for Cruz standing in the way. That one's lined into left field. Diving and not able to make the catch is Murison, that one's gonna get all the way to the wall and that might score two runs. On his way to third is Homer, he's in safely. It's a two run triple and Penn State grabs a 3-1 lead. 10 on the shot clock now for the Stags. Lowry handling the ball. Dri driving with her left hand going up, blocked by Holmes. <laughs> we can come set the pitch, swing and a miss, they get him. The sweep is complete, Indiana wins it. Two to one, a walk off in game one and a nail biter in game two. And the Hoosiers improved to seven and one on the year. What a great start, what a great series for the home opener for the Indiana Hoosiers.